Hey guys, my name is Brian Brady. I'm with Lancaster Archery Supply and today we're bringing you a product review on the Biter Micro Clicker. This is a pretty cool product. Uh, the, it uses the standard Biter Clicker that a lot of you guys are familiar with. It's going to come with two different blades, uh, the 0.2 option and the 0.25 option. But if you want to use the 0.3 option, there's no reason that it wouldn't work. You would just have to swap that on and it only comes with these two. The idea behind this is that you'll be able to set the angle of your clicker very specifically. And then keeping that angle the same, you'll be able to use this thing's micro adjust feature to shift that clicker forward and backward, which is really nifty. So let's take a look at it. You've got the entire thing assembled that's going to look about like this. The mounting plate here does come in two different sizes, a smaller and a larger. And it's going to mount right underneath your sight block on the riser. So that's going to bolt right on in using those same screws that puts the sight block into your riser. It comes with spares if you need them, now, along with the Allen keys to use. So just in case you need those, it's going to have it. But once it's on that bow, by using this knob here, you can make very fine-tuned adjustments for how forward or back that clicker is set. So that's one of the first really super cool things about this is that you know what's going to be there. You don't have to fiddle with that knob and have those edges dig into your fingers because that can kind of hurt a little bit once you get it really tightened down. That's a thing of the past. Now we just have this easy access knob here. It moves only when you want it to move. You don't have to worry about it. Now one of the cool things about this uh, is when you get to set the angle that your clicker is actually going to be sitting at. Right now it's just straight up and down. But let's say that we wanted that out. Now you can adjust it in 7.5 degree increments, all the way out or all the way in, depending on what you wanted. And that is all done by this plastic wedge that is going to be set in between your actual clicker and the device here. So on the device itself, there are embossed lines that are in those angle increments. And on this plastic piece that's going to go in the middle, we have these raised edges on the opposite side. So all you have to do is set that at the angle that you would like it to be, whether that's straight up, whether that's at a slight angle a little bit, or at a more severe angle. And then go ahead and screw that clicker on into that new position. Once you've done so, it'll stay there, and you're not going to have to worry about that angle changing on you. And now I've changed the angle. Uh, I've, of course, changed it in the direction that you're probably not going to want to have. But uh, you can change it however you would like. Uh, so it is a very versatile tool. So now we've got it at a nice hard angle there. And I can move it back and forth without ever changing that angle. There are some pieces of equipment that are out there that let you kind of mark what the angle is, so you can get that measured very specifically. But this is one of the first pieces of equipment that I've seen that allows you to set an angle and then keep it, no matter where you want that clicker position to be set at. And I think that's a really nifty feature of this. Guys, if you liked this video, go ahead and give us a like, and then hit that bell icon. That way you can be notified whenever we drop similar content. Subscribe to our channel. That way you can see all the different videos that we have. And if you have any other questions, visit us at LancasterArchery.com.